Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, I'm a geek, you're watching Kevin the Geek. Welcome back to the smoking room. And of course, I do have a bit of an apology uh, to make. Obviously, the last episode that I did, um, which was uh, obviously two months ago, um, I majorly, 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 majorly cocked up. Um, I didn't check the, 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 the edit that I did once I'd exported it and uploaded it um, and realized uh, after you know the, the few comments from people that I had uh, accidentally left my face majorly large over the top of the episode um, so obviously the episode was there in the background but my face was covering a substantial portion of it um, and of course I had already deleted all the footage by that point so unless I went back and re-recorded it all yeah it, it was uh, it was never gonna be gonna change really so all I can say is I sincerely apologize uh, for that rather large oversight on my part you know I'm only human at the end of the day um, but we're back we're back for um, episode 7 of the first series we've got one more uh, episode to go after this one which will be in November and uh, and at that point, it will basically be, um, it, it, it will then be time for the Christmas special in December. And then next year, uh, I think there's, I think there's another eight episodes, which is the second series. And then that, that's this show done. Um, so I might, um, I might do them um, relatively quickly um, on on the channel. I might do them on a, like a weekly basis or something like that. So that that means that's another show. Kind of completed and done and frees up more slots for other stuff that i of course have a lot of stuff on the on the, on the channel for because i i i, I want to make sure that stuff is completed uh that's enough waffling for me let's check out the latest episode <laughs> This is happiness. Oh, must have been on the ouzo there. Are you sure I can have these? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Come to Daddy. I <laughs> brought back 3,000. Just give me the money tomorrow. Oh, right. <laughs> so? Yeah, because they're not free. You can just about see the apartment we stayed in here. Oh, this is the apartment we should have had if there hadn't been that mix-up. This is Tess shouting at the couple who got the other apartment. This is the bruising Tess suffered. Yeah, there's quite a few of those. She'll need them for the court case. <gasps> oh dear. Tess told me not to take this one. She'd kill me if she knew I did. Shouldn't really be going topless at her age, should she? How old is she? Oh. This is Aristotle. Not the philosopher. He ran a nightclub. He is so oh, enthused. This is just from the start of the film. Clint's birthday drinks. It's you with Ben from the post room. What? Let me see. <laughs> now he is. Lillian? What? You've cut his head off. I'd had a few by then. <sighs> Can I have a copy anyway? Yeah, I have that one. Oh, thanks. Oh, if only I was back there. I'll be wishing my life away till next summer. And what about Christmas? Oh, yeah. I'll wish my life away till Christmas. Then I'll start thinking about summer. Have a Greek ciggy. Be like you're still on the beach. Hmm. Yeah. You know the best thing about these? They're stronger? No, <laughs> although they are a bit. No, the warnings are in Greek. I haven't got a clue what they say. <laughs> although, Aristotle taught me the odd expression. Please, thank you. Harder. Really? Don't ask. But... There's a new temp upstairs. And you think the shorts will impress her? That <laughs> blonde piece. An uh, extremely attractive girl, yes. Uh, she bumped into me in the corridor and spilt coffee down my trousers. Ah! And broke my X-Men mug. 
That is Still, worse. Simple accident. Anyone could have done it. And Chris Barrett was able to lend me these shorts, so <laughs> no harm done. Hey, I'm back from my jollies, Barry. I gathered. I'm off on mine on Friday. Looking forward to it. No. Hmm. I was like, he didn't seem very enthusiastic. Is aluminium a precious metal? Kitchen foil. It's top here rolling, Asda. <laughs> Where are you going? France. To explore some Cro Magnum caves. No wonder you're not looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the caves. They're covered in Neanderthal drawings. Well, if that's what you're after, you should see the ladies' cars, eh? <laughs> it's just that I'm flying out there and I haven't been on a plane since September the 11th. Oh, where'd you go? Oh. Lillian? He means the terrorist attack on New York, the Twin Towers. Don't you? Yes. Yeah. And I won't board a boat. I have a real dread of drowning. It's meant to be quite a nice way to go. I don't want to see my life flash before me. Particularly the 70s. I had a <laughs> Kevin Keegan perm. <laughs> Say hello to the new head of security. Where is he? Me! <laughs> I'm the new head of security. Oh, yes. I... I'm going to rule the school. Ah, oh, yeah. So they finally sat Ranjit. No. I'm just stepping up while he takes his brood off in the caravan. Oh. Mm. Boy, they're getting a new fella in to work under you. Nah. It's only for a fortnight. And there's never been enough work for the two of us. It's just, you know, when people come in. But there are big changes coming. Are there? Oh, yes, I am going to be doing things Len style. None of this two cigarette breaks a day bollocks. If the team wants to smoke, the team can smoke. Oh. The team being you. <laughs> don't take the shine off it. I don't follow rules. That's why they've given me this break. I think outside the box. Do you? Well, hey, as if this promotion were not enough, guess who's going to Disney World? You? Oh, shit, who told you? No. Educated guess. The clue's often in the question. First drill of pub quizzes. I can't believe it. I'm finally going to meet Mickey Mouse. And Minnie. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> Will you not feel a bit daft, though, trotting around Disney World at your age? No. And I'll have Eddie and the kids with me. I was about to say. Holiday. Oh, you want to hear a little leaf and now? Napping away. Guess what he calls me? Gar Gar? Grandad fuck off. <laughs> oh, smashing little kid. So, I'll be jetting off in three weeks' time. What? Don't mention flying. Ah. Uh, oh. Shit in it, are you, Barry? <laughs> I'll tell you the best trick. Before you board that plane, yeah. knock back six or seven whiskies. Never fails. And that was told me by a pilot. <laughs> oh, he's not a good traveller. Even when I go by road, I take my grandfather, St. Christopher. What, the big dog? The medal. <laughs> Saved his life out in Malaysia. He was travelling on a coach when it fell off his neck. As he reached down to fetch it, a metal girder fell from a passing lorry and crashed through his window. If he'd been sitting up, he would have sliced his head off. Yep. Like poor Ben. <laughs> that said, he contracted a rare tropical illness out there and six months later died in agony, screaming for someone to come and shoot him. Maybe having your head stopped off by a bird would have been quick. better. Would have been quicker. Uh, America, though, then. Ooh, I'd like to be in America. Everything free in America. Is it? Ooh, no wonder it's so popular. I've always wanted to go to the moon. When I was a child, I was told we'd all be holidaying up there by now. Been the greatest disappointment of my life. To be fair, I I thought that as a kid, having watched Wallace and Gromit, watching Wallace and Gromit as a kid, I was I was convinced we could literally just hop on on a on a spaceship in the same way you would just hop on a bus <coughs> and just go to the moon for the day. There's actually Wallace and Gromit's coming back this this Christmas. I need to make sure I, I check that out. Worse than your marriage breaking down. Yes. Barry, if you're stressed about boarding a plane, how did you hope to get to the moon? I assume they're just beamers up there. Oh, no. I don't fancy the moon at all. Everything floats away. 
Say you dropped your handbag. And they'd never let you smoke up there. Fuck that. Nah. Nah. Yeah, that's you the reason that you don't moon. go to the moon. My own boss for two weeks, and then off to meet Mickey Mouse. Don't get much better than that. And then back to reality for the rest of the year. Hmm. I would have thought Ben would have been in by now. He's back from his holidays today. Was he? Didn't bring this morning's post up. Oh, God. He's not flying back, is he? Maybe the plane's been hijacked. I know this is shot, yeah. Well, if you know it is, then... That new temp they've got in is useless. That blonde piece. Bleached? Yeah. Oh, I think she's sweet. That's one word for her. Oh, don't give me that. Just cos she's coming all tarted up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you seen her legs, Barry? <laughs> Are you all the <laughs> same? Letching over her like a load of... Well, like a load of men. Mm. Yeah. Uh, just a minute, Sally. Don't tar us all with the same brush. Just because a man finds someone attractive doesn't mean he... you know, loses all... sense of... Yeah. What? You gonna finish that sentence? What? Loses all sense of what? I've forgotten. Skirt round her tush. It's an unacceptable look for work, is it? <laughs> Unless you work as a prosy. And thick as that. Ow! I didn't think it was quite that thick. <laughs> yes, you're being very unfair. She's just settling in. I'd like to settle my boot up her ass. Useless. I'll turn on my computer this morning. Do -do -do -do. She goes, How'd you get it to make that lovely noise? I said, Try switching it on. <laughs> she didn't know where. Oh, you don't need to tell me, Sal. She came up to me before. She said, Are you Gordon Evans? Oh, Gordon wouldn't like that. I didn't like it. <laughs> As if I look like a man. To be fair, lots of names now can be men or women's. Well, that's true enough. You don't know where you are with the genders. I mean, Robin's bisexual. Are you? No, I am not. Sorry. Unisex, as a name. I always get them confused. <laughs> Mind you, my hairdresser's unisex and he's bisexual. Bisexual? Me. <laughs> as if. I mean, <laughs> I don't mind if that's what you thought. I'm secure in who I am. But really, bisexual. <laughs> I mean, just... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that girl is useless. Bisexual. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking now? Yeah, overcompensating there, Robin. Thanks. I've got her started on my filing. There's stuff going back, like, three years. How long have you worked here? Three years. <laughs> She's only sticking the K55s in with the K56s. I mean, what's that all about? Were they clearly marked? I hadn't got round to marking them. No. There you go, then. Well, I'm best going to do me rounds. Oh, I'll be counting the days till I'm shaking hands with me. <laughs> Is that a bit weird? Like, I, I mean, I get it if you talk about, like, I can't wait to go to Disneyland because I'm taking my kids and they're going to love it and it's really exciting and everything. A grown man looking forward to going to Disney. Is it just me or is it a bit weird? Has Len got prostate problems? At his age, probably. Why? Must be agony. Going for days without a slash. Shaking hands with Mickey isn't a euphemism. <laughs> He's going to Disney World to meet Mickey Mouse. Oh. Good for him. Sally. Do you know where I'd find that temp who's with you? Temping. What's she broken now? Why should she have broken anything? The photocopier. You don't know us, huh? <laughs> oh. She's done a hundred odd copies, all the same. Absolutely useless. Mm. And it's because of her that Paul Barry's got to wear those shorts. Oh, comfy enough. Oh, holiday snaps. Yeah, they're mine. Oh, can I see? Oh, I love holiday snaps. Do you? Lillian, I never even asked. How was it? Fantastic. Did you cop off with a hunky Greek waiter? No, we meant self-service. Oh, and it's such a cliche, isn't it? 
the middle-aged divorcee falling for some lowly paid menial, kidding herself she's in love and he's just dying up her cash. Aww. <laughs> Aristotle ain't like that. Who? Oh. Mm. <laughs> His mother's on dialysis. Is there such a metal as blabinum? No. Oh, you went with Tess. Ah, that's nice. After all she's been through. Mm. Although she still looks quite depressed here. Sitting on the donkey. Did Tess pull? No, it wasn't that kind of holiday chasing after men. <laughs> Very classy affair. Whoa! Plus, she'd already been widowed five months. And then, of course, her jaw was dislocated. Oh, Flavinum. Nah, nope. Look, Heidi, I'm going to have to go. Robin can talk you through those. Can I? I'll get them later. Oh, it's depressing how quickly the daily grind kicks in. One day, you're on a beach, sipping red cedar as the sun sets. A strong and hairy pair of arms around you. The next, stuck in your office, ordering a new hole punch. <laughs> So. <laughs> right. Well, these are Lillian's holiday snaps. <laughs> Labinum. No. Yeah. Ah. Ooh, this next one's easy. Why is Tess holding two whiz and gems? Holding two what? Hmm. They're not yams, are they? <laughs> Give me an H. 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 Give me an o. 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 Give me an L. 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 Give me another L. L. No, Annie. There's only one L in it. What? Holiday. Oh, you might let me finish spelling it. Well, you weren't spelling it. You were spelling some made-up word with too many L's in. Yeah. Never had her struggling to spell phalaraki all morning. <laughs> Actually, Sally, it was thought for a while I might be dyslexic. Who thought that? I did. Anyway, I know how to spell P-I-S-E-D, and that's what I'm going to be. Pised. Ooh. There's a double S in that is. one. Yeah. Can I try one? This looks like quite a tacky affair. No wonder poor Tess had her jaw dislocated. That's why Keith insists we holiday in this country. Don't get all the round in us. No. Or any of the fun. Keith always says, and I've come to agree with him, that anything you can find abroad is right here on our doorstep. Oh, yeah. Because there's yeah. a pyramid at the end of my road. And the <laughs> leaning tower piece is by the round. <laughs> Pyramids are nothing compared to Chatsworth House. This country has a very rich heritage, which we want Little Dane to learn about. Yeah, the slave trade, Northern Ireland. <laughs> we won't teach him those bits. We'll take him round the stately homes yeah. and the castles. He's already got a very inquiring mind. Keith says he's probably Oxbridge material. Is he's not even one yet. Oh, you can see in his eyes. Can you? Tess looked down on other babies. They bore him. Yeah, I can sympathise with that. All my nieces drone on about is Barbie. Now, I know she has an action-packed life with her riding school and her beauty salon, but uh, none of it interests me. Robin, what is that cack on your face? What? It's a skin complaint. Winnie Bago uh. in Patigo. In Patigo? Yeah. Mind you, when I was a little girl, my uncle brought a souvenir spoon back from Belfast and all through the sectarian murders and the shopping centres being blown up, I'd think. That's where my spoon came from. Not the exact arcade. I can't be that precise, but the vicinity. It's important to have that link with other countries. Thanks for bringing the tone down. Oh, Sally. Guess what you missed while you've been down here? They've given that tempo marching orders. They <laughs> haven't. No, sadly. But the post has been. Oh. Ben's back. No, it's the new tent guy. 
Whoa! Yeah, you pants off. Like, you McGregor, but Chinesey. Where's Ben then? Who cares? The temp can stay as long as he likes. <laughs> yeah, we need someone decent to look at trudging into this hole every day. Um, excuse me, but are there double standards at work here? It's fine for you to drool over this young lad, but I'm not allowed to pay the female temp the occasional innocent compliment. No! No. You're pervy about it. No. We just admire from a distance. No. <laughs> I'd get close if I got a chance. <laughs> yeah, obviously she would. I've got some self-respect. Have you? I might start posting letters to myself to guarantee a visit. I gave you that idea. God. Might as well go and do some work. Never. Yeah. I'll just have a coffee first. <laughs> oh, is this her? Is this the smoking room? No, love. We're all just wild free thinkers who won't respect authority. <laughs> I'm not. So the smoking room is... Here. This is the smoking room. <sighs> gotcha. Take a pew. Come and join us. So. Tell us all about yourself. Put your I tongue back in. I'm Clint. Going to fix the photocopier. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's a bit grim in here, isn't it? Yes. No. It used to be quite oppressive, but they painted it not so long back. What an icky colour to choose, this murky yellow. It's beige, with a hint of a tint. They did tell us what shade it was. Oh, what was it, Barry? Cream explosion. Cream <laughs> sheen. Press for coffee and it's given me mushroom soup. Oh, but they got the sugar right. Robin? Miranda? Robin! Miranda! Rob! Rams! <laughs> Do you two know each other? Nah, nah, nah. Long time no not. see. Yeah. So, where are you working these days? Duh! Well, here. Oh, yeah. You look so different. <laughs> Come on, missus. We don't need to trip down memory lane with these two. No, I, I wouldn't so, know it. I'll stay. you two know each other? We were at school together. She was my girlfriend. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I was. <laughs> girlfriend. Yes. So, how did you and Romeo here get together? We <clears> sat <throat> next to each other in chemistry. Love across the petri dishes. <laughs> yeah. And she won't set fire to him. <laughs> yeah. God, Robin, do you remember that girl? Used to sit further down the bench. She was always sniffing the gas taps. Wendy Walker. <laughs> God, that is so weird. I often see her around here. Never. She doesn't work here. No. She's a tramp. I see her looking through the bins. Yeah. She hasn't changed. Still wears that Happy Mondays t-shirt. It honks. It would do. And do you remember that madman who used to take us for geography? He was always going, ah, in the middle of sentences, for like no reason. You know, he'd say, uh, Norway's coastline is typified by, ah, fjords. <laughs> and we used to call him Mr. Yeah. As nice as it is for you two to relive your school days, we're more interested in the whole boyfriend-girlfriend thing. Yeah. So, was Robin your first true love? <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't a serious relationship. Wasn't it? We only went on a couple of dates. Three. We went on three. He took me to see my own private Idaho three times. It's pure class, that film. I used to love all that. Snogging in the back row of the flicks. There was none of that. No shit. Hello, hello, hello. Have you been to a fair this morning, Rob? No, I've been in here. What's with all the face painting shit? Are you a tiger? No, no it's a medical condition. Is that fake tan? You big girl, it's all orange, man. He looks like an umpa lumpa. <laughs> Clint, this is Miranda. Hello. Hi. Miranda used to be my girlfriend. No way. She did. Briefly. We know each other from school. When Miranda was my girlfriend. Briefly. 
Respect? Yes, respect to me for having a glamorous blonde girlfriend. I wasn't <laughs> glamorous then. Then I had a bowl cut. Did you? So you're just here to see Rob, yeah? No, I'm working upstairs. Just temping. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I didn't work here full time. That'd be a real slasherist proposition. Oh, is that who you're covering for? Tom Manders? Sorry? He slashed his wrist. No, he didn't. He sliced the top of his finger off. Why? <laughs> Never did a button that squash. Uh, I didn't think he was the suicide type. No. He plays Penny Whistle in a folk band. Oh, a fellow performer. How do you mean? I did it, Rob. Like I always said I would. I chased my dream. What, the one about Simon Le Bon? To be a dancer. I'm dancing now. Oh, yeah? What kind I'm of dancer? I'm moving into acting. Never. I thought you'd become a firewoman. No. Mm, that's what I heard. I saw a woman set herself on fire once when I was backpacking through Nepal. Sweet. Really? <laughs> yes. A little bit insensitive like there. It was a sort of protest. Well, maybe that's what I heard. No. I was never a firewoman. I did loads of boring office jobs, though, in places like this. But if I'd carried on like that, I'd have taught myself by 40. The monotony. Oof. The pointlessness. So, jacked it all in, retrained as a dancer, stroke actress. Good for you. What's your name, love? Miranda. I know that. Miranda what? Langton. Miranda Langton. Never heard of you. Well, I mainly work in the theatre. Or in places like this. <laughs> I couldn't do this full time. Be slaved to a wage for most of the year just to buy a week's freedom in the sun. No. You need at least a fortnight to <laughs> back her up. Have you done much acting lately then, Grant? Yes, I, um, I've just done a tour of schools with a play about drugs. Knowing E, knowing glue. I don't think people still did glue. Well, we obviously got our message across. Yeah. And at Christmas, I did a pantomime. Oh, no, you didn't? I did. Mother Goose, up in crew. Though I'd like to do some more heavyweight stuff. Aladdin. I know what you'd be good in, yeah, Miranda. If they made, like, a film about this space queen, um, Spacerella, she'd be cool, or something like that. And even though she's from space, she's not green or with, like, you know. Um, she has got special powers, though. And um, maybe she DJs? And then one day, all these space invaders come down to her planet, but... She's all and then What the hell are you going on about? They just go. You'd smash it. Thank you. Um sorry to rush off, Miranda. Um, really love to stop and chat. Really love to. Um perhaps later in the week. But for now. <laughs> Duty calls. More's the pity. That's where I'm lucky. I'm passionate about my work. You enjoy photocopying? In the theatre. You could hardly <laughs> call this work. <laughs> oh, no. You're the man I bumped into. Yes. How embarrassing for you. For him? Having to wear those hideous old pants. Yes, well, all in a day's work. <laughs> if you're working with her. <laughs> Miranda, I uh, hope to bump into you again. Try not to. She's fun. <laughs> hmm. Just ten days till I fly off for sea, sand and sex. I've got three weeks till Ibiza. I'm going to be up there, man, giving it ooh, ooh. No machines or crap to fix. Or, if there are, I won't have to fix them. Just getting it on, getting it on, uh, getting it on, getting it on, uh, uh, getting it on, getting it on, uh, getting it on, getting it on, uh, getting it on, getting it on, uh, getting it on, uh, getting it on, uh, getting it on, uh, getting it on. Have you ended up in a place like this with everyone counting the days till they get out? Look at you, love. Uh, look around you, love. You've ended up here too. And I don't feel I've ended up anywhere. It's only temporary. Oh, come on, Robin. You've been here eight years. You've got to get out there. Follow your dream. Miranda, I'm never going to be James Bond. I've accepted it. Apart from anything else, I can't drive. They're not going to have a James Bond who catches buses. <laughs> you shouldn't just give up, Rob. Look, love. 
You might be happy floating about in a world of make-believe dressing up as Mother Goose. I was an elf. But don't look down your nose at us for doing proper jobs. And working in a place like this has its plus points. Yeah, loads. Like what? Ben for the photo room. Photo room. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holiday pay? Sick leave? Give me a minute. <laughs> Who <laughs> was that then? Miranda. Joanna Bobbin. I don't recognise her from anything. Joanna Bobbin. Definitely not a name that, that rings uh, true to me. She's 51. So, uh, she yeah, she would have been about in her 30s at that point. Uh, oh, she's apparently been in Bridgerton. That's the first thing that I find it is, is the Bridgerton Wiki um, uh, series one, two, and three of um, of, of Bridgerton. Uh, doesn't look like she's got an actual like normal wiki page, so uh, I can't. Uh, oh no, I might have found one. Oh, no, I found the German version. I found the German Wikipedia for. <laughs> oh god. Um, Right, uh, yeah, it, it, it looks, from, from what I can make out, um, through the German slash English, um, a bunch of random little bits and bars. Oh, she's been in an episode of Not Going Out. Uh, I don't think I've seen that. It looks like Series 6, if I, I think. Um, it looks like possibly what she's done in Bridgerton might possibly be the biggest thing that she has done. Uh, but like I said, it's German, so I can't really tell you much more about that one. Oh man, um, that was uh, that was that was really really good. That was really good. <clears throat> um, I, I like that they did an episode around like like the the, the counting down and, and the waiting for holidays and and like people coming back from their holidays because that. Having worked in a number of different offices, uh, I can definitely say that I have been one of those really annoying people who go, mm, yeah, this time next week I'm going to be on my holiday. Or, oh, yeah, this time last week I was there lying by the beach, I had a beer in my hand, locking at the sunset, I'm just back here now, back at my desk. <laughs> you know, everyone has done it at some point. Everyone, I can guarantee you. And everyone, they will do it themselves. And then when someone else does it, they're always like, oh, you just fucking shut up. I don't want to hear about your bloody holiday. I don't want to see your bloody holiday pics. And of course, you've got a thing going, hmm, hmm, oh, oh, don't that look nice. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. You need to tell me where you went. Let me know the hotel you stayed at. I'm going to book that next time. Oh, yes. And then suddenly she'll, she'll walk off. Or he'll walk off. And you go, bloody hell. Oh, what? Last 25 minutes of my life. I ain't never getting that back, you know. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, interesting that they mentioned Christmas, actually. Um, um... I don't think there's really been that many shows that I've watched where they will actually reference Christmas uh, when it's not necessarily Christmas. I wonder if, if obviously we've only got one more episode left um, of this series. Uh, I wonder if they will make any reference to what will happen um, because presumably um, it's it. I, I, I presume it's going to be something like. They're gonna have like uh, an, an office Christmas party, or they're gonna be planning one, or it's the the like maybe like the day after um, a, an office Christmas party, and so they're in the smoking room and they'll be talking about it and go, oh yeah, did you see what Sally got up to, or rather, did you see who Sally got on last night? You know, little things like that. Um, so yeah, may, maybe. Uh, the next episode, if if they sort of do it, well, oh yeah, we, we're now planning the Christmas party or something like that. I don't know. 
No. Uh, in the, the moment I do the main art, I'd, 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 to be honest, I doubt it. I'd, I'd be surprised if they really did do that. But hey, I, I'm looking forward to, 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 to the next one. And, and of course, I'm looking forward to. Um, um to, to to the christmas one as well and then yeah like i said we, we've only got i think um i think it's um eight episodes of the uh of, of this of the second um series uh let me see have i got it here uh yeah eight episodes christmas special and then yeah yeah so an another eight again uh just realized we didn't have janet in that episode that might be the first one that we've not had her. Um, obviously, we didn't, we didn't have Clint, uh, the one before last, and he was barely in this one. So, yeah, they're, they're a bit loosey-goosey with who they have, when they have them, uh, and everything. Um, um, so, yeah. Um, oh, it looks like it's a birthday episode uh, next week, uh, uh, next time out. It, it, the title episode is literally just Happy Birthday. We will we will see with that one. Um, well, actually, my birthday's in November. Um, maybe, maybe, I, I, maybe, do I, do I do that episode on, uh, on that day? Because it would make sense then, wouldn't it? You know, on my birthday, we're doing an episode called Happy Birthday. Hey, you know what? I'm going to put that in my schedule. That's going to be my, my birthday episode. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, that's, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so very much for, for, for watching. As always, please subscribe if you're new. Drop your comments down below. Check out the Patreon if you want to get um, early access and exclusive content. Uh, but for now, thank you once again for watching uh, The Smoking Room. And hopefully, fingers crossed, my head won't be in the, in the way of all the footage this time. Uh, until next time, my name's Kevin. I'm a geek. You've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.